but that challenge the grace of god should be sufficient for you no matter the challenges the grace of god should be sufficient but opposite is the case today it's like uh, the, that grace is not even sufficient to see to see us through that is the problem all everywhere so i think this is where we have to work i mean so and uh, we shall believe look at this gentleman the pastor that is about to talk now you will have a lot of experiences imagine a pastor that you sleep attack there and then after the day people these people will come back and begin to flog you eh? they will ask you to raise up your hand uh, whom, how many people will you tell this eh? so these are the things we have to so I, so let's watch let's watch Ministers pray to the people in Jesus' name. And on getting to this man, the man instantly manifests under the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let's find out why this man is behaving like this. Eh? What have you done to him? This is my temple. Why are you asking me? What? What? This is yes. not your temple. I gave him power. Eh? To do what? To serve me. All the powers in the eastern region. Eh? It's in my heart. The shrine is still in the house in the Akopa. On my right side, on my right leg, is the head of an angry lion that kills others. On my left leg is the skull of human being. I sit on it. I sit on it. How did you enter this body? Uh, the father took him to river and initiated him to us. He is eating from hand to mouth because he refused to serve me. He said he's a pastor. He opened a church and the church I destroyed it. How did you open it? Uh, when they come to the church, they will see lion in the door of the church and they will all run away. They will not come back there again. The power is on my forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah! For how many years you are troubling him? 120 years! Hey, his father, who served me, who I made a covenant with, he's still alive. I tied all of them to the tree. The wife, I had to strike her with her migraine. How did that lion operate? How did hey! that You have committed a mistake to come to this presence, the presence of God here. Yes! When he was coming, I caused heavy rain to fall in Portacot so that he would not come. And when he came, I had to hit him on his leg with severe pain so that he cannot get up. And when he was coming into this, he said, Ha! Ah, TB Joshua, he's the only person that worries us. Jesus Christ. You demon in the name of Jesus, I command you out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. On your knee in the name of Jesus Christ. On your knees in the name of Jesus Christ. On your knee in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, 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 fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, come here. You leave this body now in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! We are free in Jesus' name. Glory be. Yes, these are the wise men that are coming any moment from now. 
they will lay hand on you. If there's a message for you, they will deliver it. So this is, can you see? Can you see for them to deliver this man? Can you see the reason why anytime you pray, you have to pray for your pastor? You say, they say I'm the only one that disturbed them. I don't know why I disturbed them. <laughs> can you imagine that? Yeah? He said, how will I disturb them when I'm here? Yeah? So you pray for your pastor. Yeah? Pray for your pastor. Remember what Paul Apostle said. Okay. Uh, you have listened to that. The, the wise men, they are five. They are coming. They will lay hand on you. Pa, pa, pa. Tomorrow again, you still have the, another wonderful grace. So um, we want to listen to the man. He's here. Qu'avez-vous votre écran dans quelques instants On a écouté cet homme que nous avons vu sur la vidéo qui se disait être un pasteur. Nous avons une livrance en direct. Écoutons maintenant son témoignage. Vamos a escuchar el testimonio de este pastor ante la liberación por parte del hombre sabio de Ochi. Is here with the family, everyone. Every. Glory be to God. Uh -huh. Emmanuel, I thank God for the great deliverance. My name is Pastor Chris, and by my right is my wife, and these are my children. Praise the Lord. It all started last week, Sunday. I was in the road there. The man, one of the wise men, Rasim, came to me. And as he was about to place his hand on my head, I said he should not touch me because the power is on my head. And from there, the spirit inside me manifested. And started to see many things as you have heard and seen from the screen. I was initiated at the age of 20 years. My father, an occultic man, a witch doctor, and a herbalist, took me to a certain river, 12 midnight. And as we got there, he brought out three chalks, yellow, red, and white. And he said, I should stretch forth my hand. And then he now ruled, made a line on my two palms. And then the yellow one, he squeezed it right in the center of my head. And he made an incantation and said, the fire your father has put in, in your hand will not hurt you. And then he took those items and threw into the river and asked me not to look back. Then we went back to the house in our village. After two days, I left for worry because I was dealing in fashion as of that time. One fine afternoon, I was seated in my room. At that time, I was not yet married. Three ostrich, black, came right from the door and entered into my body. And from that time, I was not myself again. After two days, I called people to buy off all what I was selling and I packed up and came back to the village. So in the village, my father, I started to read occultic books. It was then the spirit entered into me well. Six and seven books of Moses 
Abraham Malin book of magic. After that, I stayed a week at home. I was doing nothing. I left for Abuja. When I got to Abuja, I went to a church and one man of God prayed for me. From there, I decided to take a correspondence course, World Bible School. That is theo the theological school. Then I started fellowshipping in that church. Then at a point, I decided to open a church. And the name... Let, let us take it one by one so that we can learn a lesson, great lesson. You know I mentioned you that you can study the word, but the very life of God, there is nowhere to study it. It is that life of God that changes. Can you see now? He say he study, corresponded, read, study Bible, school, and so on and so forth, and uh, attend this church. Does the pastor anoint you? Yes, I was anointed as a teacher. See. So can you see? It is the very word of it is the very life of God in our word that changes that moves impossible mountain. So he say so they anointed him. So when you are anointed, what happened to the spirit inside you? Because now when you are anointed, the spirit of Father enter Abby. but it, there are one spirit already inside you which is contrary to that the spirit of heavenly father what happened to that spirit inside you when you are anointed when i sleep when i lie down i will go into astral projection okay the and i will see my the, the question now when you say they anointed you does it mean when you are anointed, what, what is the experience, experience you, you have? Immediately you are anointed. When I was anointed, I saw myself uh, functioning, laying hand on people to pray. But the demon inside me is still there. You listen to that? Can you rise up and before God for this revelation you are receiving today? That so is it possible for somebody to be laying hand has a church, praying for people, minister, but the demon inside is inside him. Please can you give thanks to God for this kind of revelation?